If you drove across our great state, from the mountains to the coast and all spots in between, you'd understand the impact of chronic underfunding on our public school communities. As lawmakers, we have neglected our obligation to provide a decent education for every child. We can't allow the disregard for our state's great public school system to continue. The clock is ticking every year we don't make progress. The clock is ticking every year we don't commit the needed investments our children are depending on. If you're like me, you're tired of status quo politics in North Carolina. We argue, we don't trust each other, but there's one thing we can all agree to. We all want the best for our children. We all know the value of education. We want our state to be proud of the students it produces. As North Carolina lawmakers, the responsibility to ensure every child can live up to their full potential is on us. We owe our children our very best effort. Since my father left office 20 years ago, we've seen opportunity gaps in North Carolina actually grow. We were starting to turn things around. But now it's undeniable that we have work to do. North Carolina is 49th, close to dead last, in the United States for public school spending effort. Our schools are more racially and economically segregated than they've ever been. North Carolina is grossly below the standard for school nurses, counselors, and social workers to student ratios. I know what my colleagues can do for school children. It's going to take some political goodwill I come from a family that has demonstrated that with good leadership, change is possible. I've seen my dad get pushback and take risk. The rewards are worth it. We have done better. We can do better again. A reminder, the federal relief funding coming is meant to fill new holes in our public schools created from the pandemic. It wasn't intended, nor can it, fill the pre-existing holes that decades of underfunding have created. The right decisions are often the hardest ones to make. Now is the time to call upon our better selves, to be brave, to be visionary, and fight for what's needed for every child in our state. They're counting on us, and we need to deliver. I look forward to doing the hard work alongside my colleagues to pass a state budget that meets the needs of this moment. We must make good on our most sacred responsibility, the one we have to our children. I appreciate the perseverance of public education supporters. Keep pushing, keep asking us to do better. And to my colleagues, now is the time to do everything we can. No more excuses.